we got Archbishop Jeffrey in the building. You know what it is. Our, Correct. I would say he doesn't like it, but our conspiracy theorist, our Illuminati representative, I like to call him, um, you know what I'm saying, in the building to, to address some topics. How's life? How's everything going? Are you, are you able to contain your artist? Yes, sir. No conspiracies. All true stories. Um, yes, life is going well. I just left the Bohemian Grove uh, uh, last week. Uh, you know, life is life is going extremely well. You, you haven't been in uh, the, the island in a while? You've been taking a break from the island? No, we brought the island to America. Mm. We have We have a smaller place we meet called the Bohemian Grove in America in case we don't want to go over uh further you know got you so you don't yeah make it more convenient for you guys yes sir well let's get to some topics man the, the first one i want to start with because it's very alarming and what are you doing to fousey too man are y'all pushing this agenda too hard on them because my man's breaking and y'all are forcing them to do these streams and everything what, what's going on like explain so fousey we have brought him in for questioning on some things he may know he's been speaking on a lot of our rituals and speaking on a lot of our a lot of our practices in the industry and he's trying to out us and speak on illuminati rituals and he's he's outed aiden ross for being in one of our illuminati meetings and one of our agenda so so recently we have brought him in for questioning and yeah, we we do a lot of things where as soon as our we've got the perfect time to, you know, rush in and bring him in for him calling the police. And yeah, we're going to we're going to give him a little bit of straightening, as you guys like to say. Straightening, but y'all don't want him to be straight. No, sir. So how ironic did did so did y'all mind control him to call the, the the cops was that a mind control device that y'all implanted in him yes sir exactly so him and he just malfunctioned yes sir exactly the the people that he called that he said was threatening him was us and that's how we got him to call the police yes yeah, so we called him on the stream one of our affiliates and we had him threaten him on the stream so he could get frightened and call the police and then we came in we sent a few of our reptilians in to pick him up and bring him in for questioning to j just just to get a few a get a get an understanding on a few things that he may know because you know he he's been speaking on a lot of things that we like to do behind closed doors in our boom boom room so we have to we have to tell him to stop speaking on those things and discipline him it all started going really downhill in my opinion <clears throat> who was he on stream with aiden ross no not not just aiden ross though the island boys okay and then he then he didn't he attack and yell at the island boys and i know y'all did not like that once that happened then he had to go explain that like did that make him break too was that y'all's initi initiation so it wasn't our initial issue initiation but what we will say is it uh referring back to what i said earlier we're we brought him in for questioning because he tried to speak to the island boys in uh salvation talk as we like to say he wanted to preach to the island boys and give them a few words of wisdom that would veer them away from our agenda that would veer them away from the veer them away from the devil as you know those are the practices we like we like satan and the island boys help us push that agenda so him helping him trying to speak uh god into them is very harmful to what we would like the direction of the children to go so yes that is one of the reasons why we brought we brought him in for questioning again aiden ross helped us with that as well so Thank you to Aiden Ross. Thank you to Aiden Ross and thank you to the Island Boys because they threw Aiden Ross a big uh, alley-oop on that as well. That Correct. was crazy. All right, so uh, let's, let's go to the next topic. Uh, Gilly the Kid and his son. Yes, sir. Um, you said that, that Chris J. Jackson brought up to you that there's some things that you've heard online, things going around. Address that. What, what have you heard and what do you want to address with Gilly the Kid and his son, R.I.P.? 
So I didn't hear anything. I pretty much initiated the whole process. Chris J. Jackson heard these things from me. I confide in him from time to time. So Gilly the Gilly the Kid, he, Wallow is 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 in the dark. He doesn't know about any of these things. So Wallow is under the assumption that they got their their podcast deal. Uh, a salvation way a sanctified way but no we made a behind closed doors deal with gilly the kid on everyone has to bring a, a offering to us a lot of people like to say sacrifices but they're not sacrifices they're they're offerings and with him knowing the path that his son was in he wanted his son to go away in a more beneficial way because he knew of the actions his son was partaking in and the things he was involving himself in in the slums of Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. So we, when he approached us about wanting the deal, he gave us an offering like, yes, my son is, my son is going to die soon. So based off of what he involves himself in, so can you guys make this can you i would like to take matters into my own hands and at least if he passes away we get a a huge a huge lump sum of success from it rather than it, it going away or us losing resources and money paying for funerals and uh, taking care of his children so yes he that was his sacrifice that was his offering he made to us to get him and wallow to the next level mm. so it's basically in a sense and i guess in a layman's term for people and like a, a an insurance policy no i wouldn't no i wouldn't say an insurance policy just straight up sacrifice yes got it got yes, it sir. all right all right all right get corrected by the archbishop all right so beyonce yes sir let's talk about beyonce um let me see let me see if i can see what give me a second i don't even know fully. i will i will address uh the people concerned yeah. about beyonce so we performed a ritual with beyonce recently with her album to take her to another another level to get her the most grammys in the world to get her the highest grossing tour you know so the, I'm going to tell you guys the ritual that we performed on her. So, with her releasing the album Renaissance, Beyonce is Beyonce helps us out a lot because she's a witch. She she she's a witch and she helps us perform rituals through her music, through certain spells, certain words she says, certain melodies she 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 emits from her vocal cords. And she helped us. We she was able to get the most Grammys, the the highest grossing tour by a ritual she helped us perform in Seoul, Korea. So, um, I'm going to fill you guys in. So this. Yeah, so what happened in Seoul, Korea for some of so the people? So during Halloween, Seoul, Korea had a a Halloween fest, and what we instructed. Beyonce to do was create an album with a song called with the song called so you know it goes you won't break my soul you won't break my soul and that was a ritual to break soul and dent their population and and claim as many souls as possible so what that song did was it claimed it through through her witchcraft through her music it claims uh, 150 souls in Seoul Korea so what happened was that song surged a ritual in which in that Halloween fest, there was a huge celebration in which we were able to claim 150 souls. And then if you go back and look, you will find that we covered the 150 bodies in, in cloths that had bees on them for Beyonce and her fan base is called beehive and they were dancing to her song soul that was on her album so that song break my soul was a ritual to to claim more souls for 
her to get the most Grammys, the higher grossing tour, and for her to continue her career and not go on a decline. And y'all chose the uh, probably some of the most loyal fans in the world was, you know, Seoul, um, Korea. Yes, sir. So, you know, you're on the well, you're on to something there. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So we would like to thank Beyonce because she's been she's been part of the motherhood for a while and she's she's performed a lot of rituals. She's brainwashed a lot of women. She's she's pushed our agendas. She's helping us push the LGBTQ agenda, the pride agenda. And yes, so interesting you heard it here her witchcraft is very very strategic and very very um i can't i'm i'm forgetting the word but she's like a disguised banshee banshees they yell it's she, it goes very deep into ancestry and yes sir and, vo and voodoo and everything like that yes sir oh, okay okay all right, so let's get to this one. Um, this one's this one's wild. I gotta ask you about this one. We gotta throw some hip hop in there. Polo G and Trench Baby. Yes. Now, just recently, Polo G got out from some stuff. You know, he was in there, got bonded 100K. Now he's back in with his brother. Yes. What sir. are you doing with him? And who gave him the low that he was at the, you know, Los Angeles? And did y'all tell him he has to get guns? And that's how y'all got him jammed up. Like, was this part of y'all's plan, or is just kind of just coincidence? We we're already aware of where everyone is. Everyone has our phones. Everyone has our iPhones, ring cameras, home cameras. We have tracking devices and all the. Uh, th th once you get to a certain level, we have to keep an eye on you. We have to keep uh, tabs on you or where you are. So once you get to a certain level, we 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 know you're going to get a certain car. You're gonna want a very better car. So this is a this is a hint to you guys. When you get to millionaire status, don't get a, if you don't want to be tracked easily, don't get a luxury car. Or get a Tesla. Yeah, so all of those cars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Mybox, all of those cars have trackers in them because we have to keep track of everyone who has this kind of money to afford this. We need to keep track of the power that they hold on the people. So with Polo G, you know, once again, we've seen the comments about his career and where his career may be headed and people are tired of his music and making the same music. So we've pretty much put him in the clutch. This is our perfect time to approach him with what agendas we like. We want him to start painting his nails. We want him to start uh, exhibiting more feminine traits. So we have brought him in for questioning as well to see where he would like his career what direction he would like his career to go in from now on so yeah that's that's this whole situation here and the guns there he's been protect he's been trying to protect himself from us because he know he knows we were coming eventually and because he's been he's we've been trailing him for a while he's been putting our imagery in his videos and profiting off of the things that we push but he hasn't given us a sacrifice he hasn't given us a, a valuable sacrifice we want his mother we want his sister you know, our trench baby is he going to be part of that is, could he be a sacrifice we will we will negotiate some things with polo g you see it all depends on where they would like their career to go so if he wants to go to a jay-z level we need his mother or a grandmother or mm -hmm. of uh, you know a brother is cool as well so you know that's that's what we're going through with Polo G. We're we're gearing him up for the next level, and if he's going to give us a sacrifice, or are we going to take everything from him? If he's man enough to give up the sacrifice, man, man, this is a this is a dirty game. It's spooky out here. All right, let's talk about this. Um, people have commented on um, the viral clip of talking about Sexy Red being Young Thug, so Drake can you know have <clears throat> have his favorite guy out and about basically a clone and a lot of uh i would say symbolisms with the name you know sexy red he goes by sexy pause that's what he goes by and then the red with he goes with the red blood, all that stuff so break that down so a lot of the things that we do 
they're all ritualistic and we we perform rituals with spells you see there's a reason why in the english language we say can you spell that because our in the english language we've created several spells so if you think about it just to give you an example you have weekday you have days in a week you have weekend you have wake up you have good morning if you hear the if you hear the word good morning what do you do at a funeral you mourn a death so you wake up it's good morning if you when you wake up you go to a wake at a funeral you know you and throughout the week you have the days d-a-z-e of the week does that make sense mm-hmm. so you have d-a-z-e of, the days. of the week w-e-a-k so that's how we sort of create things through rituals and words. So the way that we have cloned Young Thug into Sexy Red is we made him change his name to Sex. That's his nickname. We, we made him a blood. Sexy Red is a blood. That's her main color. So she has multiple people in the prison system. Young Thug at the moment is in the prison system. So this is how we clone and transfer consciousness into people and trade and, and trade them to another body. And you know, Sexy Red, she, once again she is herself. She is a human. She is she was born as another person, but we've transferred Young Thug's consciousness to hers and he will continue his his success through sexy red pushing a a different agenda that we would like him to push so before we made him push an agenda to men because we've seen his influence he pushed degeneracy and slut type of men of effeminate men and he called himself a thugger girl he called himself a thugger girl he called he called (laughs) men (laughs) baby he wore dresses so what we did was transfer his consciousness to another woman so he can now take on that same effect but to women and make them more whorish make them more degenerate make them claim gangs and want to shoot up people and be promiscuous the same way he did with the men and so that's how we operate with that i actually got a thing to piggyback off that because i've been wondering this a lot of people in hip-hop were y'all trying to push that agenda on Andre 3000? Remember, he was wearing the dresses, and he, he couldn't take it no more. He couldn't do the tour. It, it like, <clears throat> went against him. What, what did y'all do to Andre? Was it the same thing y'all did to Andre 3000, but he just didn't cooperate like Young Thug? Yes, sir. Andre 3000 was supposed to be um, was supposed to be on levels of Kanye West, on levels of Eminem. But yes, correct. He he just wanted to do the music. He didn't want to push our agendas. And he caught on really quick. You know, it's interesting. And with him catching on to what we were using him for, he bowed out. And see, we give you guys an option. We get we he bowed out. He didn't want it. He left and we let you guys do that. The problem the the problem arises when you agree to our terms and conditions of getting to the next level and then you want out out of nowhere you want to just accept uh, you want to take on our terms and conditions and go to the next level and then you want to you want out it doesn't work that way so, so. he didn't get that far he y- y- y'all just got him through the first phase and he was like I-, I can't get this he didn't get that deep into it correctly so we peacefully go our separate ways and we don't hurt him we tell him don't tell anything you've seen or heard or you know you notice he doesn't say anything about anybody in the industry Mm -hmm. he just minds his business and gracefully goes away and he he's still rich i see okay i just had to ask that for the hip-hop heads out there all right let's do this um last topic bronny james yes sir said it was a cardiac arrest is why he uh had issues um that that scare Yes. and they're saying that he's cleared to play are you guys forcing him to go out there and play this year? Or um, y'all don't really like what's going on with that? Are y'all forcing LeBron James to put him out there? So, Because he's the one that got Aiden Ross really popping. I don't know if you remember that. They were playing 2K together. So as far do. as far as Bronny James, we spoke to his father. This is, this is, this is a situation depending on how his father – 
would carry things out. So we spoke to his father. We want his father to push more of our agendas. We want, we want his father to make men more effeminate. We want him to dress different. We've given him a billion dollars. We've, we've make him a worldwide success, a worldwide superstar. So we, we gave his son a vaccine, a COVID vaccine and a booster shot. And with that in his son now, we've told LeBron James that you're going to continue to push our agendas when you retire we have certain tasks for you to help us push the youth, the young black man into a certain direction. So what we're doing is if LeBron James decides to not follow our orders, now that we have have a, a device in his son that could make him drop dead at any moment, if he decides to push our agendas, his son will live. If he decides he wants out, his son will pass away. See, that's LeBron James' biggest weakness. LeBron James, he doesn't necessarily care for himself. He cares for his kids more. So we've we've got to hold his son through the vaccine. And now we have we have it remote controlled to where we could press a button and his son passes out at, at our demand. And we can choose whether he wakes up or not. And there's a button for just a pass out. And there's a button for a complete death. And the button that we pushed was he we had a discrepancy with LeBron and we just had to show him proof that we do have the power to do this in case you didn't think we could. You know, that, like that he's not above you guys. Right. Yes, sir. Correct. So that's all that was. It wasn't it wasn't anything death defying. He doesn't have a, a, a defect. He, he has one of our devices that we can we can shut him off whenever we would like to just to sort of keep lebron james in check and keep him under our wing and under our commands and keep him in line to following our agendas i take out one more yes sir. because yay's planning to drop an album yes sir. that incident happened a little while ago i forgot in rome where it was a failed attempt of a sacrifice that yes, he at least he did for you guys and i guess y'all appreciate it so he's going to drop an album but on top of that are y'all since y'all letting him drop this album he had his public uh <clears throat> she was a publicist for kanye west at one point this lady um Tri trivion c cootie oh we do need to speak on donald trump as well and she's finning uh rico uh charges so yes, yeah sir. is this is this uh like did he go through a humiliation ritual so y'all he can drop an album Cause he's got a lot of stuff coming out now you know kanye west we're we've been chasing kanye west down for a while now he do it wasn't a ritual we can't seem to catch him he escapes our grasp plenty of times that was an attempt to get a hold of him and that that was an attempt to get a hold of him in that situation with the 60 injured we wanted those 60 people to die and for 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 Kanye West to get sued and we were able to get all of his money, but it didn't go as we planned. So Kanye West is, he's, he's a glitch in our matrix. We can't seem to capture him and do what we need to do with him. We can't control him. We can't, we're, we're trying desperately though. And we're getting closer and closer. And I know I about to say he's elusive, man. He, yes, he know he knows how to get away from you he guys. Escapes, he escapes through the cracks. Man. <laughs> he is the all elusive. Okay, let's talk about this. This is the last one. Um, Donald Trump. Yes, sir. Talk about this. Uh, what what are y'all's plans with Donald Trump? Mug shots, the whole nine. Donald Trump. We've we've noticed his we've noticed his influence on the people in the public seems to be going towards his way but we will be getting him in jail we're going to uh, see our whole goal is to get him in jail and once we get him in jail we're going to jeffrey epstein him so that is our goal he's another one who continues to slip through our cracks we have some discrepancies with some of our employees and get, keeping him in prison and you know with with Donald Trump he will he will not lose he will lose the election he will not win we've already set in stone for Joe Biden to win but Donald Trump once again he's he's another elusive individual who continues to continues to dodge us but 
we've been trying to we well we we haven't we have smeared his campaign we've locked him up and once we get him in prison we will be he will commit suicide and this was y'all's way to have him lose the election was like to just get him in that will to to finally try to get him in jail because i don't think he's officially in there yet it's yes. still kind of you know mug shot walked away but y'all are trying to do as much to pin on him to get him in there yes sir yes mm. sir and then you're saying joe will be the continued on yes, term president yes sir. because he, he's pushing the agenda that y'all really want correct and donald trump it's too ignorant for you guys. Yes, he he doesn't agree with our with our agendas. He doesn't agree with with our LGBTQ agendas. He 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 wants to be masculine and a patriarch. So we want we want Joe Biden who who is a liberal and pushes the agendas and and wants and and champions the direction that we would like the people to go in. So. We will make Joe Biden the next president, guaranteed. I've seen some comments saying that Trump stole your hairstyle. And I know you don't like that either. He's mocking you guys. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming through with the uh, Illuminati news and the uh, what people like to call conspiracies you say is truth. Um, hey, man, we glad to have you as a regular on here. And uh, y'all tune in every Monday at noon for... Archbishop Jeffrey, Conspiracy News, man. What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. And this is Jeff. Hey, man. Thanks for checking out this clip. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.